You definitely like music. Most people love at least a few musical genres, and for each person, this is a small musical world that has familiar tracks, songs, bands, and solo artists. Musical genres do not appear on their own, each of them is closely related to several others. Music has been around for thousands of years, it has always been a method of attracting attention, communicating, and expressing one's emotions, using voice and primary instruments. It has not developed rapidly over many centuries, because only recently, the last 500 years, with the invention of additional instruments, new sounds and new styles have appeared in music. During the study, when the whole world began to live faster, with the emergence of technological progress and changes in the structured society, music also began to develop rapidly. Imagine all the created music for the entire time of existence of mankind at once. Tribal songs from distant islands, movie soundtracks, all rock albums, all remixes, and all covers. Agree, the amount of information is huge. Belgian architect Quentin Crawls decided to independently drop a genealogical map of musical genres, which would allow him to show how music developed and changed, how its individual elements are connected with the others, and after seven years of work, he presented his project called Music Map. The map is divided into five main parts. First, applied music, military, religious, and film music. Second is folk, third is classic, fourth is world music, such as rumba, salsa, tango, and Arabic, and the fifth, the last one, is popular. Not the genre of pop, but in general, all the music that is popular. This map includes music from 1870s onwards. The 17th of 19th century were not chosen by chance. It was then that spirituals and work songs became popular. They have their roots in African folk music black ballads and jug bands. The first records appeared after 1865. During the same period, slavery was abolished in the United States. Slaves who were bought from other rap continents often sang what they were. These songs were inspired by the rhythms of the real homelands, and these songs often conveyed hidden messages to communicate without guards knowing. Spirituals is a song used by African Americans to offer up their prayers to God. Since the 80s of 19th century, a new genre began to develop, gospel. It was closely associated with Christianity. Initially, they were performed without musical instruments. Then, the piano became the main instrument. In the 10th of 20th century, gospel gave rise to a new genre, the blues. The only music of the United States at that time was folk, classical, and gospel. Blues has become the opposite of gospel. The music of wandering black singers have lost faith and hope to the adversity. The main instruments were banjo and the guitar. The music was spontaneous and improvisational. In colloquial English, the word blue meant dull and sad. At the same time, jazz emerged from classical music and marching band music. The next important milestone was the emergence of rhythm and blues. The genre has absurd elements of gospel, blues and jazz. And it happened when the blues bands found a face, got a permanent frontman and a songwriter. A characteristic feature of the genre was the emergence of clear rhythm, which was provided by drums and a bass. And the emergence of the genre was the beginning of the concept of music stars with their own songs, which began to be combined into albums. Then there was a real explosion in the music industry. From R&B came rock and roll and soul. And then new genres began to form, mixing with each other and absorbing the features of already outdated styles. New music was born. Let's talk about the genre that has become almost the most popular of the 20th century. This is rock. In the 50s, early rock sessions, it was characterized by rhythm and blues and jazz. In the 60s, rock was influenced by the so-called British invasion. Rock progressed over the years, so in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, we saw psychedelic rock, hard rock, punk rock, and alternative rock appear. It's hard to imagine how many bands and artists have played the genre over the past 70 years. It will be difficult for us to even know all types of rock. Music developed more and more actively, and in the 70s, many types of hip-hop and rap appeared. In the 80s, the first genres of directions of IDM, intellectual dance music, appeared. The connection between genres expanded and became more complicated, and eventually turned into an entire network. Disco and reggae appeared, so was garage music and dubstep. Today, a number of genres and subgenres of music is shockingly huge. 
The music map gives us only the general idea of all the music. There are 600 confirmed existing genres, however some say that there are a whole 4,500 official genres of music. Look at the visual version of this variety. It is reminiscent of the Milky Way, and each genre is a separate constellation, which is a set of large stars artists. They all take place in one place, transforming and evolving. You are probably wondering, why do we all need this information? But I have several answers. First of all, it is interesting to know how your favorite genre appeared and its history, how it developed and why it has such a sound. Secondly, if you understand the genre tree of music, you will encounter processes that occur in the music. For example, you love rap, and you see that periodically rappers record albums in different genres. For example, gospel, as Kanye West did recently. You may be wondering why they chose this particular genre. And knowing the history of rap, you understand that rap is a direct and close descendant of gospel, later funk and R&B. Despite everything that we are clarifying, we must understand that dividing music into genres is a very simplified way of presenting information. The genre system itself helps to study music, perceiving different styles, as well as to find new performers. Often music tracks are in verge of mixing, incorporating elements of the similar music. This is what allows musical performers to understand that music is a single system, because all these different connections that different people, like a part of we, call music.